afternoon. I'm Jackie Kilgore with the Jackie Group at Compass Real Estate. And this afternoon, I've got the pleasure of visiting with Shane Clardy from Superior Construction and Renovation. And we're sitting in a home that he's just finished building, a custom property in Bender's Landing, a spacious one story we'll take you on a tour of later. But while we've got him for a few minutes, we want to talk to Shane a little bit about the kind of work he's doing, the kind of client that he likes to work with, and what kind of upcoming projects he might have. So Shane, tell me. Tell me a little bit about yourself, about your work here in Montgomery County and, and the kind of business you run. Yeah, so I'm a, I'm a happy father, most of all. As you well know, we're all about family here in our business and outside our business. So uh, we have five wonderful kids and we now have four grandkids. And so that's the majority of my time. <laughs> As a builder, we've been doing this for 15 years here in the Woodlands area. And we have enjoyed building in the community and around the community, watching it grow and stretch. Uh, we were out here when this thing was nothing and now Vendor's Landing is completely built out. So it's been really exciting because it's been 15 years helping with all people find new houses and build the commercial properties that we do. As a sidebar, I know that your daughters have been engaged in the local schools here in this area in, in Conroe ISD. Yeah, very much so. So we have four um, older daughters and then our, our younger son, but all of them are uh, in CISD except for one and she's uh, actually at A&M on staff at A&M. So everybody else is involved here locally in the school system. My wife is here, our son-in-law's here. And so we've been teaching and educating um, for well over 30 years now. So your contribution to what is, what is known as a really great school district. So I digress from that, but let's back to your business. So this obviously is, an ex this is a custom project that you've done as essentially a build a suit. Is that the focus of your business, or if I come to you with a lot in hand and say I need to design and build a house, um, do you prefer that line of work? So we're a true design build firm, and so we do build from the ground up. We start from conception and work all the way through. So uh, most of our clients come to us without an idea, and we help them with the idea process, working the design, helping develop the lot, the land, and everything else that goes on with that, including the wonderful custom home that goes there. Um, but we do work with people who have their own rendering, who have their own lot, and we don't uh, exclude them from our process. Obviously, once we get into even those scenarios, there's a permit and actualization to get in through the government scenario to get the actual bill going. Sure. So we're going to work with some type of plans with everybody through that. But we work with both, uh, either people that are completely brand new, they don't know what they want, um, to people who have an idea and have uh, maybe a sketch or a soft sketch and we help them both get to the finish line. Given what's gone on in the market in the last couple of years, so we, you know, we can talk about most everybody's aware of supply chain issues and all those kinds of challenges that come with construction and renovation and what have you. Did you see your business take, a, take a, a little bit of a turn? Have you done more renovations as an example? Have people come in and said, hey, this space doesn't work for me anymore. Now I work from home or the kids are learning from home or whatever. Have you, have you seen your renovation business expand as a result of that? So yes, uh, of course the pandemic brought a lot of challenges to all businesses and supply chains did and we found in different times in the 15 years where people decided to invest in their home versus look for the next home and there's many reasons which now there's even new things coming up that seem new but 30 years ago we were in the same boat. And in those times we do help with people who need renovations, obviously they're usually larger ones adding square foot to the house and doing that. But we have seen in the marketplace with the supply chain that that's put a bottleneck on a lot of stuff. Mm -hmm. So prior to that, even in our design by build process, what brings us a little differently to help control that is we work on the materials needed for the project and our spreadsheets that we work through all that, they deal with the time and the money. So we help people control their budget as we're talking about the time to get here. So although that time on need time was fluctuating crazy on materials, the whole time we were watching it, to help them keep two or three options available in case something that came back order, we could make a new a move really quickly to try to get to the finish line when we were in the unknown of that crazy world where the supply chains are or, or, or stopping a lot of people from being able to build. You said a couple of key things in that answer and I, and I appreciate them. The first thing was management, second one was spreadsheets. Because I do think that, um, I know a question that we receive at the Jack Group questions when people are talking about the idea, the concept, the idea of building a new home, is that you know people have heard stories or their friends built or something like that and maybe it wasn't as well managed or maybe there were supply chain issues, maybe there was this, maybe there was that and cost overruns and we're, we're all responding to the market, right? But the management of that, that's what I hear you saying is managing and identifying those materials up front and early on, making those selections early on and managing that process to hopefully keep a tamper on those. 
concerns, right? Yeah, so our process has always been, we believe that the majority of our work in planning your project is all done on the front end. And we've learned from people who have the mass builders, if you watch that, and one of the things they do is they don't change that at all, right? You have no choices. So now that we allow people to make those choices, we really need to magnify that moment. So from the time they sign a contract with us, we start a reconciliation, and we do that on the first three draws in that time so they kind of know where they are with the uh, relationship of the material choices they're making with the design choice they're making to keep them up to date. Because we know how unfortunate it is with any kind of purchase, when you get to the end and you're hit with a lot of extra charges, that's not a very favorable scenario for you to be in. Sure. Even though you might be willing to pay for it, you would have loved to have had that information up front because you want to move funds. You may have decided, hey, at one time I wanted crazy cabinets, <laughs> now I really want crazy counters. And we want to let you have that flexibility in your design build for a process because it is your custom home or your custom house. I think that's important to note too is design and build. And so it really is a collaborative process. And the takeaway is that you're helping the client to manage it through all of those steps. Uh, that's, 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 that's awesome. Tell us about, um, again, as lifestyles might have changed or consumers might be looking for things that are different, whether it's a response to the last couple of years pandemic or what have you. Are there spaces that people are asking you or purposes that they're looking for in their homes as you're talking to clients for the last few years that are different than say, you know, 30 years ago when you started? <laughs> yes, most definitely. Um, we saw in the pandemic where kids came home to school and everybody's like, no, get the kids out. They can't either. <laughs> well, people have come home to work. And so now they're seeing with the kids in in the summertime or other time, or now we have two people working from home. Everybody's needing a better place to work. And so that's by far the, the largest question that we get right now answered in, in our design and renovation. Uh, the second one to, that's really close to that is people are looking for casitas or extra spot or what's going to happen. If you're younger, they're looking for, hey, if my kid goes to college and they don't fly away, how can I have their own space? Can they stay closed? If we're a little older, we're thinking about, hey, if, if mom's a little ill and she can't get around, can I get her here and take care of her? And then as we get a little older, we're thinking mom is ill and dad is ill. We want them here. And people are using that to get a better piece of property, a more spacious piece of property, and preparing for what we used to do 50 years ago where grandma and grandpa were usually ready, available, close to you on your same little plot of land. So those two have been the most um, popular changes. Mm. We've all wanted uh, the kitchen and the, the main yes. place of the Absolutely. home to be so warm and now right. we're open and connecting them again and we're not doing sunken living rooms or anything crazy like we used to do. But so all that, that, that trend is there and it'll continue to move. But those two things have been by far the most popular. Now this particular property that you built um, in this huge lot here in Bender's Landing, because it's new construction, the, the backyard isn't finished yet. Um, this is a property that somebody's going to come in and likely build a pool or an outdoor living environment. Is that something that you do as part of construction? Well, it's really hard to tell our clients no. So yes, <laughs> when we're here, and you heard they, it. When they when they become our uh, our client and customer, we we value them. It's not just a one and done, and so. We will either be a part of the solution in helping them, um, but in a house like this, usually the budget is there, and it makes sense that they would want the backyard to fit the rest of the house, and it be designed and meant to be a place that's just an extension of home, and be also set up because we've been in the business so long and been around. We know the enjoyment back there and how to bring that in, and what are next steps for each and every family members. Because we've raised our kids here in the community and we know the seasons, we know the times, we know based on your preferences what you're going to enjoy, what you're going to need to enjoy, it, and what you're going to want to have your kids come here and hang out. Um, that's because right. that's what's the most important thing. You want them to bring their friends. Yes, yeah. most definitely. Hang out. Well, that's, that's, uh, that's the experience that comes from being a grandfather. <laughs> so tell me, what's your, what's, your favorite, what's your favorite part of the services that you provide? What's your favorite part of the client experience that, you, that your company provides? Your, your clients. Yeah, so this is really weird, and for 15 years it's been the, the same thing. Um, we, we do uh, marker day, and so when we're doing a custom home, we'll set off one day where we're not going to frame. Now, usually it's a Sunday because it's really easy, but if not, it can be a day of the week. And we just ask them to bring box of crayons and markers, and you put what you want on this. Obviously, most of our clients are conservative southern people but I don't care what you mark up it's meant for your family this is your day and your time on it 
And I can't tell you how many people choose to put good things and good well wishes about our subcontractors and the builder. Like nice. they'll write little notes and all that. And so you're now, you know, the guys, they, they come in here and they're going to treat your home very well because you've got a nice little note for them. And then they get to see that this is not just a project, right? That's the added benefit for my team. Um, and they get to see that it's truly a house. For me, there's nothing uh, better than me knowing that although this is wonderful and they're going to spend the house in here, inside the walls and on the concrete and under the floors are just as many wonderful moments that are out here visible for us to see. So the marker day is by far my very favorite part of construction or renovation. We even offer for businesses because my goodness, don't you want your business to have really good bones and really good things speaking right. to you that you can't even see. So what a great day to take care of that um, with marker day. Marker day. That's really, that's pretty cool. And I like the fact that uh, if your, uh, your team has been recognized by the homeowner, that they just feel a little bit, right, they just have a little bit more in, um, in the process, invested in the process. It's true that when we talk about your team, most of your team have been with you for a good number of years as well, right? And that's so important. You truly run a family business. We, we do. Or family-like. Yes. <laughs> that's good as family. Yes. We, we, um, we do. We're very fortunate that our subs and vendors have been with us for a long time. Well, um, in construction, there's a lot of turnover and a lot of problems, so we do have some, but, but, uh, but we work really hard, and we're very fortunate because it's a, a credit to us, and we we are so very grateful for the people that choose to do that because you can work anywhere and you can do anything, and for the people that decide to step into construction and handle the chaos and the moving parts and all that, we're very grateful that they choose to be on a team and help us. Because at the end of the day, you get to this, but it is a little bit of a struggle with all the things like watching to get there. So it's a stressful job, but the people that are here love it. They love our customers and they love uh, providing a great product for, for all, every one of them. How does somebody reach out to you? How does somebody initiate a project? So um, we have a team to, to reach out. Um, you can reach us on, um, a lot of people do it via Facebook when they've heard of us. They look us up there. They can find us our website out there. Um, we are 90% word of mouth referral, so we're very proud about that, even though in this age of digital age, we've been able to do that. So you won't have any trouble to do that. Um, all of our staff talk, text, and email, so you can reach us there. Um, the best phone number to call is 281-961-5860, and that's still the best way to reach us, even though you can get it to us anywhere else electronically. We're Superior Renovations and Construction. You can find us um, on House. Uh, Facebook, uh, if you're in the woodlands and you type in the woodlands, we're, we're right up at the top with the rest of the prominent builders here in town. Well, we'll make sure that everybody has your links too. Thanks for your time today. It was a pleasure to visit with you. Jackie Kilgore, Compass Real Estate in the Woodlands, meeting with Shane Clardy. We appreciate your time.